Worms. I like worms, they're good for the ground and they're good fun. I often used to sit in the garden and eat them when I was a kid, according to my mum, along with fistfuls of mud, probably explains a lot. So to have a new piece of software to try with an interface that features what look like space worms is an exciting thing indeed. Sadly, me learning new software is a bit like trying to teach our aforementioned worm friends to perform brain surgery, and I've got a lot of work to do as well. A lot of you have been sending your music in for me to master, and for that I thank you wholeheartedly, and am constantly blown away by the quality of some of the music you're creating some of it's really really good so well done and i love listening to it so head to the link in the description to get 50 percent off using the promo code youtube if you want me to master your music but without further ado here's a suitably wormed up james to give us a run through of deep audio a few months ago we were contacted by lalal ai who created software to remove the vocal from any track and we were surprised at just how well it worked Recently, we stumbled across developer Hit and Mix, who use AI technology to aid in music creation, who have just released their newest plugin, Rip X, which takes the same artificial intelligence approach as Lalao AI, but can extract entire stems from a mix, drums, bass, keys, guitar, vocals, and more. As a quick disclaimer, we were given a license for this review. However, as always, we're free to give our unbiased and honest opinions. There are two versions of the software. Deep Remix is a basic version with editing capability and Deep Audio contains all the functionality of Deep Remix plus some extra features such as door integration through VST and AAX, instrument replacement, harmonic editing, pitch adjustment, noise removal and a chord creator among others. We were given the full version to have a play with. So let's jump right into it. On a first look, the software looks rather simple, but there are a lot of options hidden under the hood, which allow for incredibly complex audio manipulation. Let's import a track, then we'll have all the options available to play with. Upon dragging a track into the software, we can choose which instruments we want to search for and whether we want to optimize for better processing quality or speed. So let's go for quality so we can really hear what it's doing. Processing a three and a half minute audio track took 11 minutes and that's just about enough time to go and make a coffee and have a cheeky wee. And upon completion, we're presented with this exciting looking interface. What you're seeing here is all of the individual elements of the audio file with their pitch, timing, and more, all displayed for me to get my grubby hands on and absolutely ruin. And it looks a bit like worms. We love worms, don't we? Yeah, worms are good. If you've ever used Waves Tune or Melodyne, this is a very similar interface. As we play through the track, we see each element highlighted with an exaggerated waveform. By default, the software will play the whole way through the track. However, we can click on any element to hear it played in isolation and click and drag over an area to either play only the instruments in the highlighted area, like a loop in a DAW, or you can drag over a blank area to play all the instruments in the highlighted column. We'll come back to some of the other features this area offers in just a moment, but first let's see the rest of the interface. Down in the bottom right, we see a list of all the musical instruments the software has discovered. Just as you'd find in a DAW, we have a mute and solo button and a volume control, and hidden under this arrow, we have some basic EQ and stereo panning. If you click on the name of an instrument in this section, the interface will flash the corresponding audio elements in the editor to make them clearer to spot. Moving up, we have a list of all the rips we've created. This is basically a project management section. And at the top, we have a list of tools available for me to manipulate anything I get my hands on. These tools are also available via a right click in the editor window. So let's start with some basic functions. What can it do? The most important feature is stem extraction. So let's have a quick listen to that.
It can pitch shift simply by dragging elements up and down, and you can also drag left and right to change the timing of each individual instrument in the song, as well as dragging the very edge of an audio clip to extend or shorten it, just as you'd do in a regular door. If we move to the toolbar at the top of the software, then we can experiment with some of the more powerful features, such as in harmonization, which can automatically harmonize the selected musical note, and as with all of the other features, is customizable from within a menu to give full flexibility. For purely a coincidence. For purely a coincidence. For purely a coincidence. Among other effects available in the menus, there are also some tools I really love, such as sound replacement. If you select a note in the main editor window, you can replace it with a simple mouse click. Various instruments are available in a drop down menu at the top of the window, as well as being able to add your own samples using the folder icon to the right. And for those of you with a steady hand, you can also draw in notes manually. For example, if you fall out with your vocalist, you can turn them into a trumpet instead. Far apart, but we're keeping up. <laughs> I really like the draw pitch function available either via the toolbar or the right click menu, which allows you to drag horizontally along an audio element whilst dragging up and down to adjust the pitch and create some really cool tuning effects. We've been running this software on our Mac Mini M1 and it's been a flawless experience. On a system which is still waiting for many developers to catch up, RipX ran like a dream while I tested it. Interestingly, looking at the system requirements, even though 8GB of RAM is the recommended minimum for this software, with 16 being ideal, I had no issues at all manipulating audio on the fly on our base model Mac Mini M1 with its 8GB of RAM. The developers also recommend having a decent graphics card if you're running the software on Windows to handle all of those crazy waveforms, however, once again the integrated graphics on the Mac Mini did absolutely fine. I really love this software and I'm excited to see what I can create with it in the future. I'll hand over to Mark to give his thoughts. Mark. Yeah? Come here. Firstly, I'd like to mention the user interface. The older and grumpier I get, the more likely I am to abandon trying to learn a new piece of software if I can't at least have a rough fumble around in the first five minutes. So hats off to the developers of this. An idiot really can use it, and that idiot is me. After watching a few demo videos on their website for the more technical aspects, I was mucking around with remixes in no time at all. It's really easy to use. But does it work? Well, yes, it does up to a point. It works more than well enough for me to have spent a good few hours pulling some commercial tracks to pieces and using that as inspiration for projects of my own I'm working on. And I also think it works well enough that you could quite easily perform some creative professional remixes with it worthy of release. There's an obvious market for DJs as well. The harmonic editor is absolutely fantastic and whilst the vocal James replaced with a trumpet sounded a little bit like a flatulent wasp having a mental breakdown, it doesn't sound too far off any other software recreation of a trumpet I've heard. And it did a fantastic job of actually working out what the actual notes were, often very hard to do with a bendy vocal that's laden with effects. The harmonic editor is actually a rip script, a tool created using the Python programming language and Deep Audio even includes a special editor for that so you can create your own tools in the software to fit your own requirements. That's great. AI powered software really is coming into its own these days and this is a seriously powerful piece of software hidden behind an intuitive, user friendly and familiar interface that even an idiot like me can get to grips with in a matter of minutes. And it's aiding creativity, not trying to replace it and I think that's important. This is currently priced at £209 in the UK, an introductory offer down from the regular £299 and you can download a free one month trial version from hitandmix.com and if stem extraction and remixing are something that you're into then I'd highly recommend you give it a go. Both James and myself are really impressed. As always, thanks very much for watching. Hook up if you want me to master your music, give us a like, hit the ding dong and you'll see us in the next video.